watching. Hey guys, Bill Wu and Aston Wu here, uh, thehummerguy.com. Today we are at Symbolics Cards and Coffee. Uh, you can see behind me we have two very special, very rare Hummers. They are the KSC2s and a 2002 on the left and on the right is a 2003. And let's talk about it. So there's uh, subtle differences here between the two models. They are very similar. You can see one has a flush mounted front bumper winch. The other one has a stock worn 12K winch. And you can see the rock rails here. There's a step. Easier to get in and out as compared to the angled. And you can also see the closeout panel here. It doesn't have a little latch. That's a solid closeout panel. And when you compare it to this closeout panel, this is the original closeout panel that was with the uh, government model. Another big difference, you can see the offset of the wheels. You can see the 2002 here has a, a wider stance. This is an aftermarket wheel, a K -series, KMC Rockstar. And you notice this one doesn't stick out as much. This is the factory offset. So for off-roading purposes, uh, this, the offset here uh, won't rub. This, this is on a 40-inch tire. These are both on 40-inch tires, but you can see this sticks out. Uh, on extreme cornering and articulation, it might uh, rub the hood. It might rub some uh, fender pieces or trim pieces. People say that having 40 inch tires and then the offset being uh, bugged out a little bit will put some stress on the, uh, the steering components, uh, the ball joints, and many hardcore off-roaders prefer the stock um, offset where it tucks in. But I prefer the look of the wider stance. I think it looks more aggressive, but it, you know, it depends on what your purposes are. If it was my choice, I'd have a set of each. One for street and one for off-roading. And the wheels, if you notice, these are Hutchinson beadlock, internal beadlock wheels. Very rare, 17 inch. The system has a CTIS on board, CTIS system, but it's not hooked up. Um, I didn't uh, know which wheels I was going to stick with, so I hadn't put them on yet. Yeah. Both the trucks have hood scoops. If you notice the D rings, the D rings are little shackles up on top of the hood. These are the uh, airlift shackles compared to the factory shackles, the factory D-rings, factory lights, HID, LED lights. A little history on these uh, KSC2s. These are government models. They were produced for Border Patrol, for any type of government agency that placed an order. They did make a civilian version uh, called the XLC2, and the only difference is pretty much is the interior pieces. The uh, K series, the, these are called K series, K10 series, and uh, the, the seats are uh, military cloth, and it's you know some of them have less uh, electronic components, you know, to make way for CVs and other units. Both of these have 4 inch lifts, 2 inch suspension, 2 inch bodies on 40 inch tires. As you can also see that one has a roof rack system put on with lights all around it, a uh, rooftop tent, while the other one has a brush guard, so a little personalization. A lot of these trucks uh, can be pro personalized and then become extreme however you want. You can put rear winches on, you can put cabs on. see the military cloth seats here. 
usually they come stock with a locker, rear locker. The stereo in the middle is different. They usually don't have the extended speaker system. A lot of them have the mounts and the holes where the CVs went up top. And they have the heating controls there. Another cool personalization is the powder coated red springs in the front and the colored lug nuts caps. Okay, another interesting thing about this two door is they made two different versions. You see this right here? This is considered an extended cab. If you look in the back, not that much more room, but it gives you a little bit. You can recline just a bit. They do make a model that does not have that extended piece. And you can actually convert this and put another door here. Circles? You want to include it? Everybody's taking off now. You can see everybody's lined up on the street down there. We're doing burnouts, peel outs. We're out of here. It was a great day. Of course, both of these are for sale at thehummerguy.com.